Tyler J. Williams. Christian Sarandos. And we both were on The Walking Dead. So thank you very much for joining us both of you. And so then what do you think is what do you think is appeal to the what the views of views about the deck that makes it so compelling in TV that you can watch every single day? Every single time it's on. I guess. Okay. Um I think The Walking Dead is um, is loved because it, there was a there was a huge uh, there was an enormous love for the, for the comic book. I think that's why people tuned in. But I think what what keeps people coming back is is watching the dynamic between human beings and how people interact with each other and how people make the decisions they make. It's 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 a weird sort of sociology that people are kind of obsessed with. Um, so I think to see people deal with real situations like loss and, and hope and fear and and what people will do to survive is, is, is enthralling. And, um, and it makes people question, and you've said this, it makes people question what they would do in, in, their, in their own lives and their, if they were in that, that circumstance. Absolutely. And um, I think that's what does it. And it was very interesting from, from when I was researching both of you. Both of you have been in show business since a very young age, and you've both had kind of, kind of a really intense ride on this on this. Uh, how do you kind of keep the passion going uh, when you've been in service for such a long time? And it's a business that can wear on a person with constant rejection and the constant, you know, having to find the next job and getting said no so many times. How do you kind of keep the energy up in Tired. Uh, yeah, it's difficult. I think, you know, passion projects are what really keep it going, you know, as long as we're not just, you know, constantly doing jobs that are guaranteed to either, you know, make money or take us to the next level. There has to be those projects that you you know, uh, find that creative bug again at the end of the day. Because I think it's going to become so much of a business mm. that you lose that. And, you know, that's why we all got into it, the reason why we got into it in the first place. So um, that, and, you know, just, I guess, understanding the nature of the beast. That, you know, if you're getting one out of every ten jobs, you're doing really well. And understanding okay. that. There's people that have worked for 20 years and have really yeah. not done much in this industry, so we're very, very, very lucky. Not take it for granted for a second, but I mean, to be fair, there are moments where I'm sure everybody has said I've said it. I'm sure yeah. you've said it. And like, oh, fuck this, I'm done. Yeah. yeah. But um, but you deal with that not just in in this world, but in in most worlds. Like, no matter what your job or your love is, there's going to be a moment that you say, I'm out. Even if it's your your passion, your one and only love. Because if you didn't do that, you'd be an insane person. That you wouldn't. You need to have those ups and downs and those colors in life to, to be a creative human being. Absolutely. And so and so we've all had those moments, but it's you know being persistent and working hard and and, and knowing when when something is out of your hands and then knowing when you need to take full responsibility and maybe change something. So it's all about just keeping keeping your head on and staying smart. Mm -hmm. Say your thoughts. But with the work answer to Walking Dead, now both of you have had a kind of very interesting ride in the program. Rosita is still going strong, and we hope that continues for a long time. And then Noah appears in for nine episodes, and all of a sudden, just as soon as he comes in, he's gone again. And the impact was incredible on that death scene. How did you both kind of, how did you both deal with, how did you first of all deal with knowing you were going to die? And how did it then, on the flip side, which you deal with knowing that your character could be, you know, gone at any minute. How does that kind of affect you as an actor when you've got given a performance? Um, you know, for me, I guess it was a little easier, um, mainly because I knew the nature of the show. And I'd seen what they had done for, you know, four seasons in that aspect, so I knew that, you know, if you came in, you were bound to die eventually, you know, at least. The arc that I had was probably sooner than later. Um, so it wasn't that difficult to kind of, I guess, cope with as I guess it would be for, like, you know, some of the original cast members who had to kind of go through that, that uh, understanding. Um, so that was it, was, it was, it was fine in that aspect. You know, I think it sucks for anybody to go from a job that they don't want to leave from, but, you know, I knew what the nature of the beast was. Yeah, um, yeah, I mean, it's something that you, you realize you're signing up for. I mean, people I think people would, would just like die to be on the show. Yeah. And so the fact that we have the opportunity to be here for you in a short time is amazing. And, you know, they say it's better to have loved and lost than not to have loved at all. They say it's better to be on the show and then go than not be on it at all. And both characters are very strong, kind of almost role model characters. What is it like then when you come to an event like Intel and you see the response you get from the fans and the people that want to meet you? 
great. It's amazing. You you go through really really hard days on set. It's a very taxing show on your body and your psyche. So. Uh, to come to these things and to see that the fans are pleased, which is exactly what we're going through all of it for, it's fulfilling. It's incredible and it makes us very, very happy. I have fans come up to us all the time and say, we're so nervous to meet you. We are so nervous to come here. Like, we take, like, the time, like, away from, like, our friends and our family to come somewhere that, you know, and we were talking about this earlier, sometimes we have, like, people online that are not necessarily, like, thrilled with what our characters are going through or something and so you never know what the the reaction is going to be and so to come here and to have people be very pleased by you it's a very gratifying moment. And what do you think of kind of the horror genre has been changed by the Walking Dead on television and it's kind of made, it's also changed television in a sense now because a lot more programs are able to kind of step out of the comfort zone that they used to. I mean you never used to see for example your death scene, if you go back ten years ago your death scene would never have been on television. And what do you think what is it like to be part of a show that actually pushes the boundaries and constantly even asks the actors to go out there and just leave it all on the screen? Um, I think it's interesting. You know, I think what's happening is um, it's being, it's, there's been a shift in television in the last 10 years. You know, the, the four or five major networks are kind of just kicking out content head over heels without really developing it. And then you had these um, networks that really had time to develop some content that they really loved and were kind of following that HBO model and, you know, said so we want to make some stuff that kind of pushes the boundary and realized that, yeah, this is what audiences really like. They don't want, you know, the kind of just contrived, this looks good formulaically on paper television show. Um, and that's, you know, that's what's kind of happening now. I think we're in a beautiful place of that where all these networks are competing and trying to keep up with one another. Um, and keep up with that model. So we're pushing boundaries. We're, you know, having projects that require great acting, and um, you know, from the special effects and all other aspects of the crew wise, everyone's stepping up to the plate because we just have that much more to play. People aren't scared on this show. Yeah. Like, we're not scared of anything. And I don't think people on this show are, are ever afraid to hear no. Um, not that anyone would tell us no because <laughs> we bring that some awesome. We'll shit. argue it down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but. Um, but yeah, that's that's the, the key is not being afraid to say no. And this season, I think, as well, for both of you, have been really some really strong moments. Personally, highlights for me was, for example, I know, when you were doing the scene where you finally got home, you finally got to see where your family were, and then there's a scene you just fall to your knees in the centre of, of your home and just in the, in the little work alcove, and you burst into tears. Where did you draw? From on that, and then for you, Christian, when there's a scene when you and Abraham are standing in already got the zombies off in the distance, and you're facing off against this man who's really strong, intense, passionate, love for, and it's just literally, literally, there's a blank stare from him, and you're having a real go at him, and then he just pushes you to the ground. Where did you like, First of all, how many takes did that take to do to keep you a straight face? And then where did you draw the both for your perspective? Where did you draw to get that passion from? And then the title as well, the same voice. Where did you get that passion from? Um, th that 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 scene took. I mean, I, th I think just a regular amount of takes, like the usual amount of takes, not not an excessive amount, but. Um, those are the scenes that I, as an actor, look forward to. Uh, to have something that challenges you, that, to have something that scares the life out of you that you just think at home, I don't know if I'm going to pull this off. That is what I dream of, um, to have that, that fear, because that's going to push me and that's going to excite me, and when I finish it, I'm going to feel amazing, and that's exactly how I felt when I did that scene. Uh, you, you, Acting is very therapeutic for me, and so I feel like when I have those moments, I can just release any sort of like emotions or angst or feelings that I've that I that I have within me because I tend to keep very I'm very nonchalant. I think outwardly when it comes to things that I'm going through. So when it comes to scenes like that, it's when I can finally just let it all out. So I was really thrilled to do that scene where I bucked up to, to Abraham. And um, we never we never broke. I mean, that's something you have your moments on on on, on the show, and everyone. It being such a like very kind of serious show, we're all so light and like goofy on set, and and so there are times when we'll be doing very serious scenes and we'll goof off, but then there are times when we all know, and we're all very in sync with each other, so we all know when it's a scene that requires our full 
full attention and, and concentration, and that was one of them. And so you just, you know, you deal with it with your with your family, and you help each other, and you get through it. And then when it's over, you just come like this, and then you move on. Um, yeah, you know, it was a similar thing. It was one of those scenes where on paper it said one thing, and it, it's our job to kind of fill in the blanks, what's on paper, and make it what it was. Uh, that day was, you know, it was a rough day. We did that, you know, the whole sequence all day long. Um, and, you know, I think Greg was really trying to tell a lot angle-wise with the cameras. We got a lot of angles of it. Uh, just kind of kept going at it. But, yeah, it's one of those things where you have to kind of step up to the plate or not. You know, it's not something you can really rehearse. It's not something you can really uh, plan out. Um, and, yeah, I think it's just finding that place of hopelessness. I think that was it for me, is just trying to figure out what that's like and what that looks like and what that feels like. Uh, and then, you know, once you do all your prep work at home, you get there on the day and you throw it down and you just kind of commit and you go for it and hopefully it translates well. Um, and that's kind of what would happen with that scene. I think it's certainly to translate well for both from both of you because the audience will just, yeah, you can, I for one felt like that point in the form and then when the audience is like, whoa, what's going to happen next? And I think it's a real turning point for both your characters in, in their respective episode. And the thing with The Walking Dead, yeah, I think, it's very interesting because on the paper it's not a family show to watch, but then behind the scenes it seems to be a complete family show. How, how do you feel, do both of you feel when you got to join that family? Oh, it felt it felt amazing, but but that happens day one, and you might not feel that way, but but everyone everyone's already brought you in, um, so it's a really good comforting feeling because we have to be remarkably vulnerable on the show, remarkably vulnerable, and so to do that around a group of people that are not necessarily awesome or don't make you feel comfortable is hard and, and near impossible. So this is exactly what we need on the show, exactly what we just happen to have like got, just out of out of pure luck. So so yeah, I'm grateful for that all the time. Yeah, it's. Uh... I think the key to it all is casting. I think at this point, the show is, you know, and the actors have such faith in casting. And when somebody new comes in, you just automatically assume that they're down and that, you know, that they're good to go, which is, I mean, it's yet to fail. Um, so that's really where that, I guess, family atmosphere comes from, is we all appreciate each other's work, we're all rooting each other on, and everyone has, you know, their thing to kind of throw down. Um, and that's what, you know, just fostered that even more. Uh, there were Walking Dead fans out there that would have fortunately not been able to be here today. Some of the Walking Dead family that would love to come and see you. What message would you like to leave them? That we see you and we love your support. Yeah, we see it all. You know, that's the that's the thing. It's yeah. one of these shows where we can't we can't really avoid it. You know, I, I saw it with, with the death within two minutes of the death, things were trending worldwide about it. Um, so we see it all, we appreciate it all, and you know, this is why we do it for you guys. And, um, and just hope that we can continue to do that and, you know, feel love. Well, for those that couldn't be here, and to some of the people I spoke to, thank you very much for both of you for coming and for the time. Thank you. Appreciate it.